Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather. And as expected, it is snowing. Look at this. This cam up at Alta, you can clearly see it. Now, we're not talking big snow, but it's interesting nonetheless, right? So this is all happening at the very highest of elevations. So the next stop for this is going to be up in parts of Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, Colorado. A lot of wind with this storm system. This is storm number one. There's a second one for this weekend, but this one you can see the rotation coming out of Utah, moving to the north. Um, and so eventually it's just a matter of time before we start to see accumulation up in Wyoming and Montana and also Colorado. So that's what's happening right now on radar. Here are my bullet points. Here's what I'm expecting. So the storm today, um, and then the second storm system comes in this weekend, and it mainly affects Colorado. That one could spin up into a pretty nice front range storm system. I'll show you what that looks like coming up on the future radar and satellite. But again, this is all elevation dependent as it normally is this time of the year. This is all mainly happening above nine or 10,000 feet. So that's pretty high for most places. And it's always about the pattern, especially early season, because it, will it be a foreshadowing? of what to expect this winter. Is this the kind of storm track we're going to see, in other words, by the time we get into December, January, February, March? It very well could be. This is kind of mimicking that La Nina switch that I talked about in my winter forecast. All right, let me take you over. I want to show you the forecast jet stream pattern. Um, so here it is by late today. You can see both areas of low pressure, one coming out of Utah, Wyoming, the second one moving into the Pacific Northwest, that dip in the jet, and it's going to carve its way south through California and take more of a southern track. Let me push this into the future. There's tomorrow, there's Thursday, here's Friday. Look at that second storm. Now, this is the key time frame for Colorado. This is Saturday, 921. The storm is spinning up. You get a nice wraparound effect with some upslope moisture over the front range peaks of Colorado. Uh, by Sunday morning, it's still there. By Sunday afternoon, it breaks and begins to move away. And then the pattern by the middle and late part of next week is favoring the northern tier. And you can see the storm track running up into Canada by that time frame. All right, forecast radar and satellite. So this is 5.30 today. You can see the snow over the high Uintas, a little bit of leftover snow for the Wasatch, at very high up. Uh, some snow over the Wind Rivers, the Tetons, and parts of uh, southern Montana. And there'll also be some snow with a lot of wind running across the high peaks of Colorado. All right, here's Wednesday. Uh, storm's trying to pull away. Here comes the second storm out of California. It takes a southern track, kind of disappears, but then it reemerges right here. Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. You can see the low spinning up with that wraparound effect. That's going to be snow, certainly above tree line in Colorado. And we could see several inches of accumulation. Here we are by Sunday morning. You can see the blue indicator here. So the snow level has dropped across the mountains of Colorado by Sunday morning. And then the low begins to break and it begins to move away. And by the time we get into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, the storm track shifts up to the northern tier and running through Canada. You can see it with storm system after storm system through late next week. All right, as far as accumulation goes, Again, don't pay attention to the numbers. Those are really hard to pinpoint early season, but it's where you see the shading. This gives you an idea of what's going to be transpiring. Um, so high you went is a little bit over the Wasatch, more so up in the Wind Rivers, maybe the Tetons, certainly at the highest of elevations, and then southern Montana. Uh, the batch of snow you see right there for Colorado, that's mainly on Saturday into Sunday, Saturday night, Sunday morning. And I think we could see several inches, assuming this low spins up. And, it, and the track may change a little bit here and there, but the potential's there to see this thing spin up with several inches of accumulation, certainly on the 13ers and the 14ers. And that will change the complexion of everything. You know, as we slide into the fall color season here, um, we get that snow way high up on the peaks. It'll be a beautiful sight. But this is something you do, you do see in the early season over the high peaks. Always interesting because, like I said, will this be a foreshadowing um, with this storm track of what to expect as we slide into winter? All right, guys, so pretty fun update today. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care and have a great day.